Hi, I'm Clark Perks and I work for the Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. As you may have seen in another video, the nine 16 inch gun barrels you see on the battleship today are not the original barrels installed on the ship in 1943 when she was being built for World War II. After her service in World War II and the Korean War, the rifling on the inside of those original gun barrels had worn out. In 1954, all nine barrels were removed and replaced. The original nine gun barrels were relined, which basically made them as good as new. In 1969, they were test fired. But what happened to those original barrels after that? In this video, we will answer that question, where are they now? The right barrel from turret one, serial number 291, is on display at Battery Lewis in Hartshorn Woods Park, Highlands, New Jersey. That's about 90 miles northeast of where the battleship is docked today. According to the Monmouth County Park System website, Battery Lewis was part of the United States coastal defenses in World War II. The gun battery is located near the entrance to New York Harbor. The gun battery had two 16-inch caliber Navy Mark II M1 guns, which were installed in May of 1943, the same month the battleship was first commissioned. After the war, the Army removed the gun barrels and sold them from scrap. Between 2014 and 2018, the Monmouth County Park System acquired and put the Battleship New Jersey gun barrel on display. The site is open to the public. The center barrel from turret one, serial number 293, is on display here at the Marine Parade Grounds at the former Philadelphia Naval Shipyard where the ship was built during World War II. The battleship was launched on December 7, 1942, just about 1,200 yards southwest of where I am right now. The ship was also refitted for her service during the Vietnam War here at the Navy Yard. Today, the battleship is docked about four miles northeast of this location. The left barrel from turret one, serial number 292, is on display here at the battleship. Now, if you're a regular viewer of this channel, this is the barrel our curator, Ryan Szymanski, famously crawled through back in July of 2020. You can find a link to that video in the description below. Both the barrel in Philadelphia and this one were saved from being scrapped in 2018 by a partnership between our museum and the Mahan Collection Foundation. Now, if you're following the serial numbers so far, you may have noticed that the right, center, and left guns were numbered 291, 293, and 292. Now, we don't know why they didn't put the barrels in the numerical order from right to left, but if you know, put it in the comments below. Moving on to turret two, the right barrel, serial number 276, is at the U.S. Army Yuma Proving Ground, roughly 30 miles northeast of the city of Yuma, Arizona. At more than 13,000 square miles, the Yuma Proving Ground is one of the largest military installations in the world. Out of all the nine World War II barrels, this one is by far the most interesting in terms of its later life. The barrel in Arizona is actually two 16-inch gun barrels welded together to make a single barrel approximately 120 feet long from breech to muzzle. We don't know where the second barrel came from, so if you do, leave it in the comments below. This barrel was used in the High Altitude Research Project, or HARP. On November 18th, 1966, this gun launched an 84 kilogram Marlet II missile to a height of just over 110 miles, briefly crossing into space and setting an altitude record for a fired projectile that stands to this day. The center barrel from turret two, serial number 278, is on display on the parade field at the Naval Surface Warfare Center Dahlgren in Virginia. The left barrel from turret two, serial number 277, is currently in storage at Dahlgren. The right barrel from turret three, serial number 366, is on display at the Mahan Collection Foundation in Basking Ridge, New Jersey, just about 60 miles northeast of where the battleship is located today. As I mentioned earlier, the Mahan Collection Foundation partnered with the battleship to save three of the gun barrels in 2018. To watch a video about that project, there's a link in the description below. 
The Mahan Collection Foundation are experts in the restoration and preservation of historic artifacts. They restored the battleship's quad 40mm anti-aircraft gun in 2017. The majority of their collection consists of historic trucks. They joined us for the gun barrel preservation project because one of the trucks in their collection, a 1939 Mack truck, Model FK, was actually used to move 16-inch gun barrels during World War II. Today, the Mahan collection displays barrel number 366 behind that 1939 Mack truck. The center barrel from turret 3, serial number 290, is on display in the Trophy Park at the Norfolk Naval Shipyard in Virginia. Lastly, the left barrel from turret 3, serial number 289, is also in storage at Dahlgren, right next to barrel number 277, and yes, that is a photo of Ryan inspecting those barrels back in 2018. Also in storage at Dahlgren is a gun barrel that is truly one of a kind. It is the only 18-inch, 47-caliber gun the U.S. Navy ever built. It weighs approximately 195 tons, and it fired a 3,850-pound projectile with a propellant charge of 810 pounds. It was used for research and testing, but it was never installed on any ship. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State and also from businesses and viewers like you. Thank you for your support. You can also support the museum by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about our channel. Thanks for watching.